It seems Eminem upset people with Houdini. Yes. Yo, people, welcome back to the channel. You know, say a wolf. And, um, yes. <laughs> Eminem's new Houdini single just made a lot of people upset for, for a very benign reason. Yo, yo, Eminem, Eminem, he even, even uh, like he predicted it in the freaking song. Like, people get upset at, at the Megan Thee Stallion bar and saying Eminem using Meg for clout. Eminem, I'm telling you, Eminem. <laughs> and um, freaking people even going, yo, getting upset at the, at the trans Siamese cat <laughs> bar. <laughs> let's go, yo. Let's, uh, let's at least check out this video. Uh, yo, it's probably... More information probably has come out what this video was dropped um two days ago from Lifestyle. I'm going to check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm using Megan for clout. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is what he does. Yo, the dude literally knew this was going to happen. That's why he did what he did. And people don't understand that. You're playing, you're playing into the, into the, into the freaking, into the freaking plan, falling into the trap. But yeah, people want, want to be upset, they're going to stay upset. Yeah. Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And boy, there is fire on the mountain when it yeah. comes to the discussion surrounding Eminem's latest single, Houdini, as this yeah, song yeah, yeah. has single-handedly exposed thousands of pop fans who have been posing for years as hip-hop fans. In yeah, fact, some oh of these my gosh, thousands of pop fans uh, who's been posing as hip-hop fans because if they had known in hip-hop, you can talk about anything he just leaves the people to be upset and if they don't understand the the, the, the genre and know what it's about you can have situations like this so yeah fans have been planted in hip-hop media like we covered in the last video and today yeah. we have a lot more on the commotion including I'm, reaction i might i might check out that last video i'm not sure if i'm gonna react to it but i'm gonna check it out check it out from rappers and fans especially linked to the bar about Megan Thee Stallion and these fans continue to crash out over a bar and they are <laughs> even setting up Megan Thee Stallion in the process to get dragged because of their ignorance all yes. because they are convinced it is a diss and we'll expand on this in a moment <laughs> as while this was on Eminem was out here setting records with this debut even some records that got Eminem fans in shock at the moment as you'd see in a bit and we okay. also have some details that have emerged from Steve Miller Band, responsible for the 80s number one hit Abracadabra that Eminem sampled for Houdini. And we'll okay. get to this later, including a rumored upcoming performance slated for next week. And starting with Houdini's commotion on social media at the moment, apart from those who are physically crashing out over the hype of the song. For instance, yeah. Joe Budden's podcast girl host Quince Flip has a highlight reel of his reactions after he shared this. I had to turn up for Eminem's new record Houdini. Slim Shady is back and I'm hyped to see Alchemist and Royce. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> Let's go! And we yo 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 yo. He doing reactions differently, bro. He doing reactions differently. <laughs> oh, he literally bringing in the props, bro. And um, yes, I give him props, but yeah, um, he making it entertaining for his audience. And a lot of reactors do it different ways, you know. I want to be more expressive, but uh, my environment is not very conducive of that. So right now, <laughs> I have to make do with what I got until better comes, you know? Yeah. Well, let's continue. <laughs> we got pop fans crashing out on social media simultaneously over the bar Yo. because they are convinced <laughs> what it is hell? a diss. Is that a video you, right it there? It is a lot of cringe incoming. You've been warned, but stick around as it gets better. And for starters, they've been going off as this went viral in response to Eminem's bar about Megan. When they uh. ish ain't popping, 
they use Megan for marketing. And for some context, over yeah. 32,000 users saw this post and tapped the like button. Oh, but it gets <laughs> even more hilarious, up to the point that even Ice Cube Jr. had to post about the commotion, which we'll get to in a moment, but more okay. about Eminem using Megan for numbers. Every time uh, I get mentioned, one yo. of your bum dudes get 24 hours of attention. And boy, over 22,000 users saw this, tapped the like button, and yelled, Get him, sis. And seen us. Yo, these people. Yo, you, yo, Eminem predated the internet era, the, the pre YouTube era. So right now, you, all, all of this is just noise right here. All of this is just noise because they're not looking at the fact that <clears throat> dude didn't even need to say that. He, he said it because he know that, yeah. This entire reaction is what he was going for, but I didn't know that people were out here willing to bite the bait so viciously, so 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 freaking hungry for 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 bait. I'm telling you, because he literally did that to you. There's thousands of these pop fans, and about numbers? No, 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 no. no. You, you ain't gonna talk numbers against Eminem with Meg the Stallion. <laughs> Let's just be honest. First of all, think Eminem was dissing Megan, and secondly, believe it's Eminem not is this. using her to boost his career. This has got those who know better bamboozled at the moment, and this response that includes a wild bar went viral. This is proof we all live on different planets and arguing with people is futile. 22,000 yes. people believe Eminem needs Meg the Stallion for clout. Meg would put a hole in her other foot just to get half of Eminem's numbers. <laughs> Hey yo, yo, hey yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. That's facts, bro. That's facts. What? No, that, 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 that. Yo, he didn't have to be so savage, bro. <laughs> Put a hole in her other foot to, to get the number that Eminem to get Eminem's type of numbers. <laughs> Context: Eminem's last album dropped in 2020, but IFPI's reports for 2021. 2022 and 2023 showed that without no new studio album, Eminem remained the second biggest rapper in the world in those years. They what? pretty much set up Megan Thee Stallion <laughs> to get dragged due to ignorance, as this Yo. also went viral in response to the commotion. Quote, Eminem mentioned Megan for the numbers, and as you can see, even before the numbers updated, they are in a different class when it comes to monthly <laughs> listeners and Ice Cube <laughs> 66.8 million and 25.9 million. Who needs who here? Who, who using who here? Yo, you see? Can't believe it. He posted this on Twitter. Stan accounts mad at the man who gave them a name, Glorious. Long live the Billy Goat. And apart from the conversation yeah. that Eminem is using Megan Thee Stallion for clout, <laughs> we also got Twitter accounts attacking black men. All because they are ignorant about how hip hop bars work. Check this out. This one. When the hell did this become a freaking race issue, bro? Attacking black, who? Black man? For, for what? <sighs> Let me read that back just a little bit. Let me hear that sentence again. All because they are ignorant about how. We also got Twitter accounts attacking black men. All because they are ignorant about how hip hop bars work. Check this out. <laughs> this white man felt comfortable disrespecting a female rapper and male hip hop heads stood next to him while he did useless. And as you can see, some of these users. I'm not, I'm not a hip hop head. I just like good entertainment that, uh, yeah, hip hop falls into that sometimes, you know? And that's why I react to, <laughs> I react to all forms of entertainment that I, that I, I might find interesting, you know, but this is entertainment out in, a, in and of itself, I'm telling you. ...are using this as an excuse to take digs at black men from the United States. I don't get it, because why <laughs> are the males responsible for me and the stallion, especially when she wasn't even dissed, and also she's not signed to any of them or their relative. These yeah. are the real misogynists because they view her as weaker because she's yeah. female. Like, why does she need... Yo. Flip it back on them. Flip their argument. Yo, they, yo, 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 how can she be a strong and independent female that, they don't, that don't need no man? If she freaking, 
if every time a situation happens with a female, they go and ask, where were the men? Where were the men? Like, it doesn't have to be a man of a particular color. They just, yeah, where were the men? So you see, you know that your argument is flawed, but you only use it when it benefits you. And whenever someone flips it on you, 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 you freaking crumble. But then it, it makes sense, and then they're going to shout, <laughs> so all sorts of buzzwords, you know? Male hip hop heads for anything to begin with, but it wasn't just the men getting dragged, as due to Megan's beef with Nicki Minaj, this blew up. A white what? man rapping about shooting a black woman, and Barb's think it is funny. Now we got a new one. <laughs> Apparently, Eminem was rapping about shooting Megan the Stallion, and it didn't take long for this user to get exposed, as some pulled up receipts that showed they found Nicki's arrest video hilarious, a real life incident that just happened. And the user what? that pulled up the receipt added and as expected here you are laughing at white policemen arresting a black woman in a foreign country dare i say what is happening now is oh. your car laughing my bum off okay I, I heard about that situation i heard about that situation i thought it was uh, something else but yeah you you trying to pull the, the, the race card in your favor but you the same you you you're basically guilty of the same thing you are accusing others of you know just because it's someone you don't like it happened to you feel it's okay it's not okay either way you know but right now and one is even more one is more severe than the other yeah <laughs> it doesn't need to freaking well but it doesn't need to be this deep bro it's just entertainment at the end of the day and that bar was uh, was freaking just that's a small wind i'm telling you it's a small wind in her direction nothing it's more of a shout out than a this i'm telling you that's how it works right but then again i mean i'm didn't this megan to begin with however no. we got the most hilarious <laughs> one yet on this issue can we leave eminem in 2009 he is a 60 year old white man making fun of a 29 year old black woman's trauma and this is so anti-black using her getting shot as a bar for clout is a low blow when megan strikes back don't cry who is the better rapper <laughs> boy setting up a poll yo you don't want that you don't want that what setting off a poll was certainly a bad idea and it is quite fascinating that a bar about <laughs> megan now means eminem is anti-black and some and uh, yo you don't even want to bring up even that sentiment because every yo eminem has had a track record of him standing with black people and um it even got on my nerves to see him freaking in at public events doing that kaepernick um um knees down on the grass or some shit like that i i i, I hated that it i thought it was cringe but that's the dude he can do whatever he can make whatever choice he wants uh to show support to the people who are in need of support you know but damn so just this one instance erased everything else that he did erased everything damn these people are crazy these people are crazy bro <sighs> And um, right now, as I said, you don't want that battle. Eminem is probably not even going to take that battle. He's not going to take it. He's going he to he gonna probably let, if, if, if she even decides to be delusional and release a diss track about that freaking light bar that wasn't even meant as a diss. He's talking about the situation and uh, making it a double entendre. Yes, as in to get a feature, but that's light work for Shady. But it's still in that shady ish um, um, vein of uh, rapping. But she don't want that smoke, bro. And don't don't set it up for who the best rapper. <laughs> don't set that up, yo. You 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 yo, your favorite rapper about to not exist no more, people. If if this happens. <laughs> and then you're gonna have even more of this type of um argumentation when it comes to Eminem versus uh, uh <laughs> and I, I can't even say yo let's go
Some are confused. All the stuff rappers rap about. This is where y'all draw the line. Selective outrage. And before yes. we get to some of the yes. debut records for Houdini so far, check this out from TDE's Punch. I like M's new song. It is classic Slim Shady for sure. And some yeah. took it up a notch, one that's bound to spark heated debates. Eminem just casually dropped his best song in a decade. Certainly yeah. the best video, in my opinion. And DJ Head is also feeling it. I like the M song. And from Math Hoffer, new Eminem joint is very nostalgic. He got a few bars in there. That's crazy. How y'all feel about it? And perhaps this is a reach because Eminem didn't diss Megan. That was just a bar. But check this out that goes back to when Megan the Stallion rapped. I feel like Mariah Carey got these dudes so obsessed and this take blew up on Twitter. Megan the Stallion used lyrics from a song shot at M, but M made a bar with her issue of being shot on the leg and y'all going wild saying Eminem is always going at people. Y'all should shut the F up. <laughs> y'all were hyping Megan when she made that bomb bar. Eminem. Yes. 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 Y'all were hyping that. And now freaking hurt whenever Eminem uses a similar word. And I don't even think that's the reason why M even did this. It's just that to show the freaking selective outrage. M sees everything, laughing and, and loudly standard. crying emojis. And this is aimed at those who believe Eminem is attacking her unprovoked. And we got perhaps oh, the worst so ratio. It, so that, so it might be, <laughs> so it might be. <laughs> well, we do know Eminem sees everything, you know yet in response to this i don't even like meg anymore but eminem is so hateful and weird to women always throwing shots at females but i've never seen him go toe to toe with a man weird bum what <laughs> yeah. and it is wild because yeah. people see equality as hate because last i checked eminem doesn't discriminate when it comes to his wordplay male or female and mind yeah. you eminem yo i remember earlier this year it was freaking him this in freaking Benzino <laughs> causing the dude to break down all freaking podcasts and all of that stuff and uh, crying and everything. Yo, <laughs> I know. Yeah, granted, he didn't respond to the final this, but yeah, <laughs> it seems that it was probably because he was busy working on the album, but yeah. He didn't want to give Benzino any more attention, but whoever decides that if, if that makes it M's loss or not, well, that's your opinion. And I think you're off the wrong opinion. But Eminem doesn't need anyone to care for him. He, he, he just, just decided it wasn't worth his time. Whether that made him look, look um, soft or not, it just, it just depends on who, who you're talking to. Eminem just went at the hip hop pioneer Melly Mel just a few months ago. And mind you, this is the same crowd that will tell you Eminem fans aren't hip hop fans and only white people listen to Eminem. But imagine thinking you're a hip hop <laughs> fan and you still don't know that Eminem's bars are rated E for everyone by everyone. the ESRB. Yes. And users are in shock. Never seen M go toe to toe with a man. These non rap fans expose themselves every single day. And every check this day. out. What is an Eminem album or single without some controversy? We are back, ladies y and gentlemen. Yes, and we on are the numbers, back. Boy, even Eminem fans who follow. And he even talked about it in the freaking song. He's a walking parental advisory. As in, back in the day when the freaking. When it, the, the, the government bodies were freaking putting um age ratings on his freaking music so that younger people couldn't couldn't listen it yo that if that yo that is a freaking professional level canceling and the dude is that is, and the dude is as big as he is right now what the hell do you think you can do? I'll tell you. All the numbers are shocked right now by Houdini because it smashed Godzilla's debut record across platforms as it yeah. debuted with 13.5 million views on YouTube and was the number <laughs> one hip-hop song in the world on Spotify and number three all genres with 7.85 million streams, which is also higher than Godzilla's debut on Spotify. And those who know better find this exceptional, exceeding my expectations. 
this is a win. And check this out, Eminem earned his biggest ever streaming debut on global Spotify with Houdini, 7.85 million plays, which just shows what some promo. Yo, I had this song on repeat when it just came out, bro. If you haven't seen my reaction, go check it out. Yo, you see this song from M, it was so freaking crazy, so, so catchy, it freaking, it, it stuck in my head, bro. It stuck in my head. Mo can do compared to the surprise strategy. And on YouTube, only Killshot opened with more views when it comes to Eminem's record on the platform. And while <laughs> me and these Stallion fans who don't know better are still taking credit, some have dropped <laughs> a reminder. Thank you, Megan. Yet she's in a song with Glorilla and Cardi B, released at the same time, by the way, and still couldn't outnumber M. The song this user is talking about released on the same day as Houdini. It didn't crack Spotify's global 200. Meanwhile, no. Dua Lipa's Houdini just re-entered the global 200 at 198. <laughs> and upon seeing the numbers, this blew up. Y'all gon' learn that all that hate don't work with Eminem, LOL. He gon' do numbers. And before we get to Steve Miller... Yo. Yo, I didn't think he was gonna bring up that 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 new song that Gorilla Cardi B and and Meg the Stallion have <laughs> because I didn't think he had the data on it. But yeah, apparently he does because when I heard about that songs dropping, uh, yo Houdini Eminem drop on the same day as that song and blew it out the water. <laughs> Band's message to Eminem over the sample Abracadabra. We are now hearing about a performance slated for a few days, perhaps due to a slip up from Eminem associate Mr. Porter, who reacted to an IG post about the lyrics breakdown of Houdini with Please do the rest of the song laughing and fire emojis. I gotta learn this by Monday. Laughing emojis <laughs> way easier to follow. And word on the street is that there's a performance next week for an event in Detroit. And we got okay. a message to Eminem from Steve Miller Band. And it goes, Hey M, there's a long chain of stories, poetry, lyrics, and musical roots that have crossed cultures and generations inspiring the whole world for hundreds of years yes. and in all those lines of thought music and rhythm there are special artists who take it all in and create new original ideas from their own <laughs> feelings and experiences you are one of those timeless originators building something new on a long musical legacy of original artists. And after Steve Miller named a couple of his influences, he continued, I have always tried to credit, honor, and respect the major influencers in my life and to always credit earner royalties and share knowledge of their work through my own work. I didn't yeah. know it would be this way when I was a kid trying to make a living playing music and making records. I only knew I had to respect the art that came before me and yes. fight for it too among all the crooks, thieves and imposters. There aren't many artists who take the time or make the effort to stand up for themselves and credit and respect their influences at the yes. same time. Marshall yes. Mathers, you are an exception and on my short list of people who respect the art to be included yes. in your process feels good while i'm still singing and playing the music i love i'm honored thank you steve miller and i'll be looking forward to your thoughts uh, on everything this. so far including the pop fans crashing out <laughs> about nm apparently cloud chasing thanks for watching yo yo i know that tiktok is on a meltdown people i know that every yo i know <laughs> i know that all these people really really are not the fans of hip-hop but you know even i who uh, consider myself a very surface level fan of hip-hop because i like a good beat and i'm not gonna hide that but even me can, can see the freaking delusionalness of these people so um guys <laughs> that is really that 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 final statement that uh that that uh that the dude expressed for for to Eminem right there that is really giving Eminem his roses and showing him that he appreciates him being a part of this artist sphere you know yes and showing his respect for our, our fellow artists so people if you enjoyed the video 
yeah why not give it a like why not give it a subscribe i would appreciate it yeah and i thank you for watching all the way this far so i'll see you in the next one peace out let's get this it's full yeah follow all follow all my socials links in the links in the description yeah and leave some comments